Maybe we need a Bosch reroll swap. Oh, I'll take the max HP. Yeah, they are a little unsightly. The circles on the map are a little unsightly. I can see that. Nah, not, not different class. Ironclad is... Ironclad is the litmus test. Ironclad is the perfect litmus test. Lit, lit, oh my god. Litmus test? Litmus test. Litmus test. I, I can't speak today. For how you're doing in the spire. Ironclad is... Perfect indicator of your true intentions. Are you being too ambitious, too reckless? The answer is yes to all those things. Being the bone is ooh a bummer. Early shop, you know, I'm gonna start not taking shops this early. I actually value them less now. They help me do the the boss, the elite rather. Oh, and we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Digging for that is troublesome. Quarrelsome and troublesome. The shovel is, uh, yeah. Mm. Not what you want to see. You're about to fight an elite. Like, how do I fight this elite? It has to be triple sentry. Oh my! And it is! And it was! Spider Gods, I see that you've graced me. You've been gracing me. I will not let you down. Not let you down. We did it. We did it. We conquered the beginning. The beginning has been conquered. So rupture is now on the play. We have double sword boomerang. We have a combust. So rupture is absolutely on the cards. Mummified well, Hand? Oh my god, Rupture is really on the cards. Now we have what, Battle Trance? Wow. And Mummified well, Hands? Wow, this is decent. This is really decent. This is really, really, really decent. I, uh, I like this. Mummified well, Hand is fantastic. I already have some powers already that I'm using. Functional. Functional stuff here. Another elite though, I mean the life, ooh, life total is getting low. I don't really have use for headbutt just yet. Life total is getting a little bit low. More life total getting more low. Now if we do good face, bad face, um, you just want to YOLO it? Oh my. Whenever you enter a question mark room, you gain 50 gold. Let's get our powers into play. And let's take a look at what this is going to be, because I'm most certainly going to want to use them. And this is the first run of the day, baby. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. I kind of really want to do bash here. We're just barely beating these elites, just barely. The skin of our teeth. I wanna draw into that again. Okay. Very nice. Vajra is huge. Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace is super sexy. But it, can I afford it right now? I kinda need the Thunderclap for this. For this fight. I'm gonna dig. You guys wanna dig? All in favor of digging? But of course I gotta rest as well. That's a huge dig. That was a huge dig. Wow. Wait a minute, this is it. This is insane. Bloodletting is pretty good because we do have the card draw. I do like bloodletting. I cannot do that and remove. And flame is also not bad. Um, I also have to rest. 
I also want to upgrade combust. I also want to dig. My god, I have so many things to do. And not enough campfires. And uh, therein lies the beautiful part of the spire is there's a lot to do and you have to make a choice. You've got to make a choice. Therein lies the beauty. I would love to take a rupture right now. That's very nice treasure. That's not simply nice treasure. It's very nice treasure. And I that act one was fantastic. Put it on YouTube. Act one of a champion. We'll take this impervious here. So now we have the dilemma. Do we want Runic Dome for more energy? Or do we want to take Runic Pyramid? And now we have... Mummified hand shenanigans to think about, and Runic Pyramid slows down the run drastically. But Runic Pyramid means bloodletting. Please come back to us. Also, yeah, we're gonna have to solve energy. If I do Runic Dome, if I do Runic Dome, is this deck domable? I mean, Runic Pyramid is gonna be it's gonna be something. But I'm feeling like a we get through actual Runic Pyramid, we win the game here. We get through Act 2, Runic Pyramid, we win the game here. Let's do it. A little bit tougher, but massive upsides. Extremely massive upsides. Um, a lot of question marks, which we want to do, because these question marks are gold, right? So this is 50-50-50. This is 50-50. Right, 50. This is shop, right? So this is 50-50. There's 100 gold right there, plus, like, you know, a handful of gold. Let's say like 20, 20, 30 per fight, maybe like 20 per fight. 16. 16 to 20 per fight. So we're looking like at like 250 gold when we hit the shop. And then we have an elite. And then another elite. If we're feeling brave, another gold, another shop. Or go over here, you got a lot of gold at 150. And we do sparkle, get it out of the way. Just the sparkle in Act 2. Because our Act 2 is going to be weak. And then we just carry on. And now we have all this gold and no shop. So you say, okay, maybe we don't do sparkle. Maybe we pivot over here and do a massive shop over here. I like it. I convinced myself because because of running pyramid, I'm not gonna be able to uh, really be too aggressive here. That much I can tell you. That much I can tell you. I may even lose my gold here. These guys may steal my gold, cold blood. Luckily they didn't, but they wanted to. They want to kill me instead somehow. All right, and now we kill the guy on the right. Gorgeous, masterful. Armaments, armaments pretty good. I, I have a lot of cards I need to upgrade. Let's get through these hallway fights now. I know I used both my potions. That was a little bit uh, careless, perhaps. If second wind, which is going to be interesting. I think second wind is one of those cards, like, think about it. We're going to have a moment where... Um, Runic Pyramid or second wind might be really clutch with Funeral Pain in my deck. I, but I don't see a moment of that right now. But definitely, I, I don't hate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I can get... A full heal second wind. Maybe I was unsure of myself.
Second wind is very big with pyramid, absolutely. Hog fights are rough. Gotta survive. Just gotta survive out here. Stop healing. Stop healing, please. Please stop healing. Thank you for not healing. I know I messed up a strike there. Shouldn't matter too much. Burning packs from more card draw. I can't really utilize it. Now dropkick. Dropkick is something that potential infinite with pyramid. Like when you see pyramid, I think dropkick should be on your mind. Now I have a lot of upgrades, but I picked up an armaments. I'm gonna dig here. Shuriken's great. I mean if I do go to dropkick infinite, if that does happen, um, well, the shuriken's gonna help a lot with the dropkick infinite. Rest assured. Shuriken's actually quite nice. Unfortunately, this man's gonna live. Could have played that a lot better. Anchor. Anchor's fantastic. Toxic X, fantastic. Wow. So now, do we wanna go for the shop and more gold, or do we wanna get the sparkle out of the way? And what this is gonna do is like. Act 3. I don't wanna be forced into a bad sparkle. But since I am pyramid out of my mind right now, if I just survive and go to the shop, I think. Necro. I think we'll be. Wow, we have blind plus. We have blind plus. Disarm. Dark embrace. Wow. Blind plus is fantastic. Another disarm is fantastic. Pendum is fantastic. Sling of Courage is fantastic. These are all fantastic. Sling of Courage is fantastic. Disarm is fantastic. Um, do I rest for this fight? Or dig? Can I handle this fight without resting? Alright, wounds. Do your worst, wounds. Do your worst, wounds. <sighs> I was just kidding. Don't do your worst, please. Please, don't do your worst, wounds, please. It was a joke. I was joking. Isaac, inside. 
forgot that I had double attack. Another battle trance. Another battle trance. With with Runic Pyramid, I know it feels bad, but the whole point is that we're posting the gates, Runic Pyramid. With this next boss. Now that's not guaranteed. White Beast statue is amazing. White Beast statue is absolutely fantastic. I read a double bash, that's always a thing. Mm. Alright, double bash is always a thing in this sphere. I had lethal if I did bash first. That's okay. Entrench rupture. Whoa. This is a rupture deck, isn't it? Whoa, this is a rupture deck. Whoa, this is a rupture deck. Entrench is so beautiful. Imagine we get a you know barricade. I don't have it yet, but this is a rupture deck already. And we dig here, right? Do we dig? Uh do we have enough life? Is the question. If I dig, I'm worried about my life. Because I could die very easily. Hmm. I would like to do a lot of things like dig. It is a rupture deck. Yeah, it is. It is a rupture deck. Fortunately, this time it is. We're going to get a lot of strength off this rupture alone. Yeah, it's lacking all the buffs. It's a nifty combo. It's a nifty combo. Get a little shuriken right there. We're not weakened, so this is a good time to unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. Let's try to draw into uh, Sorbon Ranks. Oh, we had an intention. We have 18 strength as. It's a demon form right here. A little demon form right here. And now we got through a pyramid. And now you ask yourself, wow, limit break. Uh, that's so, I just, corruption's insane though, guys. Corruption's a power and dark embrace. If you get corruption with dark embrace, and then we have rupture in play already, and then we just start fighting. Just start blasting. Limit break is insane, though. Ah, corruption limit break. I'll do this. We need energy. Does anybody need a rest? Uh, I would say yes, this deck likes to rest, but I can also dig. All right, I'll do this. At the recall, I have to dig. At the upgrade, and then we're going to solve resting by pulling a reaper out of our ass, or potions, because we have white bee statue. Still chaos. Another strobe boomerang. Nope. Should be, I should have a lot more max HP. I should, I should have valued max HP a little bit more, I think, throughout this run. I want to see Rupture ASAP. That's the thing. That's the beautiful thing. 
I rest when we can dig. That being said, I should be more mindful of how much damage I allow myself to take. Because Coffee Tripper is a thing. Another funeral pain. Another funeral pain is interesting. However, max HP, I'm sure valuing more. I'm gonna keep smoking on deck. I wanna see this shop. Exhum. Exhum can give me another stab at impervious or disarm. Exhum is flexible. It's expensive though. Is it 149 gold worth of ex okay if that branch RP, but um we're gonna need a med kit, right? Because what's gonna happen is we're going to have this pyramid and we're going to have statuses and it's going to be painful. Yes, this is disarm again. Yes, this is impervious again, which is my best block on the deck. Look at this deck from a grand scope of things. This deck wants to scale up really fast with strength, rip, hopefully get rupture early, limit break to crazy strength amounts, and block where I came with impervious and in between that, kill things before they kill me. So if I get an exhum, I can do this whole blocking thing another time. So I have more time to kill them before they have, they can kill me. However, if I remove a card, let's say we remove a strike. Then I see rupture more often and all the other things. I'll do this. I'll do the removal. Exhum, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to buy evolve here. I'm not sure I want to buy Vivolve here. Gold. I'm going to pass. Application potion is interesting. I'm going to dig. Courier. Very nice. Alright, we're getting a lot of gold from this the Serpent Head. I love it. I love it. What I don't love is... Uh... Well, I don't love this fight. But we do have Limit Break duplicate, potentially. I don't think it's going to be necessary. I hope not. We would like to do double bash. Double bash, here it is. Where's double bash? Here it is. Double bash. Didn't show up. Double bash did not show up. There's double bash. I want to play these powers. And now I want to win. Snake oil. Snake oil. I'll keep. Oh, wow, we got offering. Wow. Oh, I got transient. Do I just fuck on this guy? Because I, I can just save my life, but save stress, save time. Okay, but this is max HP I'm potentially losing, right? And this guy is, should be doable. So let's not run away from this man. Let's not. However much we may want to. Disarm. I mean, okay. No, because I, I, I smoke. I mean, I'm, I'm getting rid of a lot of uh, potential. Potential value of the car, the toxic egg, the gold from the courier, the max HP from this. It's just so stupid to do that. It's just so stupid, guys. It's just so stupid. Very easy fight. 
fruit juice, imagine. But now I I can't drink the fruit juice. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Dreamcatcher is no loss at all. The smoke bomb was there for a potential if I were to lose, but now's the time to get rid of the smoke bomb because it's no longer relevant. I was just being a pansy. It's also old speedrunning habits dying hard. It's kind of what it was. It's a big, big hit I took there. Um, Cold Spot's fantastic. Trugrid's fantastic. Trugrid's amazing for the deck. I want to see another shop. We can do another elite. All right, we can do it this time. 59 HP. If I'm truly scared, I could do Cold Spot, right? Because why? Why make it like? Like Cold Spot, I can save for one of the boss fights, but I don't want to take any risks. I've already got humbled so much today in the Spire. I mean, absolutely bomb blasted. It's sickening how humbling the spire has been today. Mm, do I want to take this damage? Because I don't have healing, actually. <laughs> I don't have healing, but I do have a shot. Okay. I do not care. Tori's fantastic. Flame is fantastic. Dig a recall. Let's recall. Get it out of the way. See what the shop has. We got Cory. We got Panagraph. Wow. Panagraph's massive. And Show for Me Clay is massive. Huge shop. What a shop. Fight a boss. Absolutely. You get another heal. Then Panagraph's back. And oh my god. That shop was so good. That shop solves that pantograph, this, plus Tori. I mean, what a sequence. Oh my lord. What an incredible sequence. That just won the game. Wow. Panograph is just, it's just, it's just amazing. Unbelievable, man. What do we got here? Duvudo. Wow, more strength. Another true grit. And now we can dig with impunity. We can dig with impunity. Bag of Marbles is fantastic. Two strength now. Because we also have this Necrodomicurs. And makes limit break that much better. This last five relics, these last four relics right here, oh my. Run defining. I don't want this daze to be a thing, but feel of pain exists. So. RNG came in all at once, right? RNG came in all at once. Here's a tip now. I don't have rupture in play. I 
I overblocked, sorry. Overblocked, sorry. Whenever you play 12 cards, gain 2 strength. Cool. No, I don't get double bash. Damn you. Damn you. It's my fault. I don't gotta play Combust until Rupture is in play. Let's get Rupture in play first. It's just a Rupture enabler, that's all it really is. But at this point, it's worth getting out because it's taking up hand space. There it is. He's doing no damage, so we can go ahead and do this. And now. We scale up a limit break and win the game. It's the goal at least. I could have waited till after the limit break. So that could be my finisher. Things to think about, I suppose. Don't think it matters at the end of the day, because it's game over now. Let's go finish the game now. Okay, so now, so now that we've been humbled and inspired, and 1833 is the standard, I uh, I ask myself if I can survive the first three turns of the heart. If I can't survive, we're gonna dig for the truth. Kunai, okay. I'm interested. Another true grit. More removal. Finesse. Wait, is finesse dropping not an infinite? We found an infinite, guys. Oh, wait, finesse dropkick. So we gotta make the deck down. We gotta make the deck down to finesse dropkick. We got an infinite. Now, how feasible is it for me to get this infinite? I would have to true grit. It's an infinite, yes, but I would have to true grit. Alright, so this gets out of the deck naturally. Let's take a look. I, I can have a max hand size of 9, plus the 10th card being the card I want to play. 1, 2, 3, 4 powers, and then. So 1, 2, 3, 4 powers, 2 cards that exhaust. So 6, 7, 7. So we're looking at. Uh, 25, right? And I need to get down to 9, so I would have to true it. Well, 11 cards, and 2 of them are going to be that, so... From that, I have to true it 14 cards. I have to true it 14 cards. With 2 true in the deck, each true has to has, has to do 7 cards. It's like a nice thing to have on the back burner. So let's say I get finesse and then another trick grit. Trick grit 14 cards. Is there other ways to, to make that happen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I lied. I lied. Um, I only have the true grits. 10 cards. I only have the trigger 10 cards. Oh, 
this makes it easier. This gives me kunai as well, though. This makes it easier, though. It's gonna be hard to get infinite with these burn guys, but let's make it happen. I should focus on just killing the infinite should be word here. I should just focus on killing these guys. Infinite is the last of my concerns for this fight. Pentagram's probably not be enough. I mean, I have enough life here unless I get like uh I may not have enough life here unless I get, like I said, a, a good potion, I suppose. Pentagram's not enough. I think the extra damage wasn't worth it. I should just end the fight there. You're making me take all this extra damage. Yikes, man. Alright. No Reaper. Can you give me a Reaper? That'd be nice. Alright. Ah, that was at 69 HP. That's not very good. Double Bash. This gives me Kunai. I gotta start true greeting now, right? I gave him an extra shank for the next fight though, so I don't know if I like that. I made a mistake. So now he has extra strength. It's not good. It's not good at all. I should save these blocks, but... Actually, I think we just lose to the next fight. Because I have to save these blocks, but... Alright, let's see. I need Impervious here. Impervious your bus. That works a lot. That works really well. That works extremely well. That works extremely well. It feels nice to do some damage now. Like, it feels worth it because I had to push damage, right? I had to push damage. But that's not worth it. That's not good enough. Alright, and now we just have to just kill him. We go for the kill. There's the dropkick stuff. What do I want to upgrade? Everything else is upgraded. I need my weekend though. But now I, I, I give myself like disarm problems. So what's gonna happen here is I need to disarm him. But he has artifacts. Uh how do I get rid of these artifacts? Blind and thunderclap? Alright, that's possible. Possible. It's actually only doing 15 damage. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. I mean, if I, if I, if I trigger a couple more cards, I could go infinite here, but I think we're gonna kill him before this happens, so. Um, let's stump our damage. Kunai and strength, so like, getting Kunai here and also getting another strength is interesting. 
but... Alright, I'll do this. Keep my damage for the damage cap. It's a lot of block. There's a lot of block. I wish he did that multi-attack first. And now, this is a predicament because... I have to kill him in two turns. I think it's possible. I think it's possible. We kill him in two turns, right? Yeah. So what we gotta do is... Bring him down below... Um, let me see. Perfect. Lethal next turn. Lethal next turn. Yay. GG. All right. Let's let's get back in this power. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's go. No more fucking around. That's all I needed. One win, one win, one win. That's all I needed, baby. 41 minutes.